Hello, calculus fans. In one variable calculus, we learned about evaluating limits of continuous functions. Turns out that's an easy thing to do. What we use is the defining property of a continuous function. That property is that f is continuous at a point a if the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to f of a. The corresponding rule to evaluate limits of continuous functions was called the direct substitution property. If we know that a function is continuous at x is equal to a, then we can use the fact that the limit as x approaches a of f of x is just equal to f of a. We just plug in that limit point. Now we can only do that if we know the function is continuous to begin with. Now all these concepts extend very naturally to functions of two variables. So we'll say that a function of two variables is called continuous at a, b if the limit as x, y approaches a, b of f of x, y is equal to f of a, b. This presupposes that the function is defined at a, b and that this limit exists. And we'll say that f is continuous on some set d if f is continuous at every point in d. In Calculus 1, we learned that most functions that we deal with are continuous on their domains. Examples include polynomial functions, rational functions, roots, exponentials, logarithms, trig functions, inverse trig functions, and any sort of combination of these that you could come up with, like sums, differences, products, quotients, compositions. And this holds true even for functions of more than one variable. So for example, if you took a function like this, where you've combined polynomial functions and trig functions and exponential functions, this is continuous on its domain. And that is, wherever it's actually defined. Okay, that's all for now.